Hey, 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 Aries, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, July 1st to the 2nd intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for your like, shares, and subscriptions. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know if this resonates with you. I'm going to grab four cards here and then get a channeled message for you from Spirit. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs. The information can be found in the description box below. Also, please take a look at my community page. I posted... Um, something with a GoFundMe link. Diane from 303 High Priestess Tarot just recently lost her son. And it's a GoFundMe page for her medical expenses and for funeral expenses. So if you can, please have a look-see that, at that. If you can't afford it, just please send your prayers and love. Keep them in your heart. Okay, so let's see what's going on for... Aries. All right, we have, his name was Demarcus, by the way. I love the name. Seven of Pentacles, Magician, the Empress, and the Star. Wow. And Temperance at the bottom of the deck. All right, Aries, let's get this message for you. Let's see what's up. They just said slaying the dragon. Ooh, I feel like you've been like in this battle with yourself, Aries. Like uh, you've been the warrior, quite the warrior. I feel like you're slaying your inner dragons. That's that's what I feel like. Like this war, like you're taking yourself on. Like, all right, I need to clean myself up. I get to face my shit. I'm going to deal with my shit. I'm going to slay my fucking dragons. Thank you. They're applauding you, by the way, for doing so. And they're encouraging you to keep, keep at that, okay? Because it's clearing a lot of energy for you. That's why the star card is here with all this healing. It's the card of Aquarius. You could have that in your chart, Aries. This is, yeah. See, the star card is very confident as well. You're gaining, you're already confident, Aries, but... You're gaining a lot more confidence by slaying these dragons, quote unquote. The Seven of Pentacles, you're also deciding as a result of this, it's sort of clearing, clearing your plates for decisions that you need to make as far as you know, what do I want to do next? Because you're always doing something. You're always getting something up your sleeve, right? So... You're like, where do I want to invest my energy, my time? What's going to bear me fruit? What do I want to manifest, really? Got the magician here. Um, oh, Aries. Do you have that, your eye on somebody? Because the magician is across from the empress, Taurus or Libra energy here, okay? You could have your eye on an empress. doesn't have to be a Taurus or a Libra. Just somebody that, em that expresses those qualities which is the queen of all queens, right? She's the shit. She's confident, she's, but she's got this soft confidence about her, right? She's very, um, she's got the Midas touch, just like the emperor, just like you do, Aries, a great match. All right, so tell me about the star card. Queen of wands, oh yeah, this is, this is lighting your fire again. You're really, really ridding yourself of sort of stagnant energy, energy that was there that you didn't even need, you know? But it was still hanging around because you never looked at it. 
So it's like just cleaning out your closet, right? Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Waiting, patience. So you're waiting for something. You could be waiting for love because it is right below uh, the magician and the empress. Uh, this empress could be at a distance from you. That's possible. Tell me about the magician. Gemini energy. <laughs> Six of wands. You could be seen in the public eye, but this empress could also be seen in the you or this other person or both of you actually because you've got the star here too so you definitely are being seen in the public eye for something and this empress could be as well so you're wanting to be seen by this empress right you want to be victorious over manifesting like you're going to be proud of yourself of you and you should be if you if you manifest this it's like playing for you, Aries. I like it. It's fun. So tell me about this Empress. Ooh. This could be what's hidden from you at this time. Or she, or you're hiding your feelings for her. It's like the way to manifest this person. It could just be an idea, right? The way, the road to manifesting this Empress energy may be hidden from you may be elusive to you at this time if it's not then your feelings for this empress um or at least interest right is hidden from her or him just feminine energy tell me more about this yeah to like you gotta listen to your intuition on this with the two of swords libra energy all right, you need to listen to your intuition on this and possibly around the crescent moon. Whenever that is. I'm not sure if that's waxing or waning. I forget. Okay. So tap into your intuition around that time period regarding the situation and trust it. Okay, so what is your advice for Aries? <laughs> Two of Wands. Again, we have distance, but decisions, right? Knowing what you need to leave behind. And I think what you're leaving behind is the old you, the old, the stuff that you're clearing out, you're definitely leaving that behind. So I feel like you're cleaning out your closet in order to move on to manifesting your dreams, to manifesting your new road to happiness. That's exactly what I see in that moon card. It's like your new road to happiness. Yep. See? Two of cups. And that just literally fell out when I was just shuffling it. That was weird. Soulmate twin flame energy. So whoever this empress is, they're made for you. <laughs> you know what they just said? They just said made by Mattel. Mattel, the toy company. And they're joking, but it's like, it was literally, it's, it's like, that's your manifestation power. It's like you built your own toy, so to speak, right? They're joking, but that's funny. That's funny, Aries. Okay. So express your love. Okay. Express your love. Walk away from what no longer serves you. Eight of cups. Because the Eight of Cups goes where? The Eight of Cups goes to the Nine of Cups. And that is your wishes and desires. And you already have your wish and desire card here with the Star card. Yep, Ten of Wands. And I feel that that's what you're doing. They're saying let go. Walk away from what no longer serves you, right? Move on to this new path that's meant for you. And trust your intuition when it comes to this individual. And you have to open up your heart. I'm getting that from the two of cups here. Okay, it's major heart energy. And it's so funny because I was feeling a lot of heart energy today. Like major heart energy. And I feel that's, um, is that, yeah. It's collective because at first I'm like, am I getting a heart chakra upgrade? But I feel like this is more on a collective scale. Okay. One more card. I always say one more card, but 
It's like my readings. I am losing track of time on my readings today. Time is getting away from me. Speaking of time, destiny, and there you are. So now we, I told you, made by Mattel, the emperor and the empress. Yep. That's funny. Maybe that's what I'll name it. This is destiny. This is fate. This is supposed to happen. And you did your work. You manifested it. You cleared out your shit. You, you are the emperor, Aries. And there's your reward. Ten of cups, happiness, family, abundance. Because I'm also feeling abundance with that ten of cups. All right, Aries, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in any personal reading with me, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to check out my um, YouTube community board. That way you can help Diane uh, 303 High Priestess Tarot in her fundraising efforts to cover medical expenses and funeral expenses for her son, Demarcus. So my heart goes out to her and her family. Uh, if you can't afford to help with the GoFundMe, just at least send her your love and positive energy. Have a good one, Aries, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.